Nugent. <laughs> well, this isn't it. This is a bill. Have you got any more? No more for bucket. <laughs> You'll hear more about this. Elizabeth's house. Sorry, I don't see the significance. In Elizabeth's house? <laughs> yes, I heard that. If my Sheridan would be here, he'd be appalled. Steady on, she might have the decorators in. Drift in a towel? <laughs> well, at least that shows he's clean. It could be her husband back from Saudi Arabia. It is not her husband. I warned her about watching Channel 4. No good will come for me. Bond Road. Used to like me in that pink dress. Used to say, wow, Dave, that pink dress. What was he liked about my pink one? Your pink what? My pink dress. You said you liked me in my pink dress. Oh, dears. What kind of ways that to wake someone up? Most people get a cup of tea. You said I looked really edible in that pink dress. You don't have a pink dress. Not now. You tore it off me that night. <laughs> I tore it off you? Yes, you did. You must have been on fire. <laughs> There's no point in getting upset about it. There's probably some perfectly harmless explanation. How can there be a harmless explanation with a strange man in the house? Informally dressed with a debauched expression and obviously been there all night. Dad, you don't know that he's been there all night. If he's there draped in a towel when the milk arrives, he's obviously been there all night. Well, that is a reasonable conclusion. I mean, just think, if she keeps him, he could be sharing milk cartons. <laughs> well, that is not of our business. Of course it's my business. Elizabeth's my friend. I can't just stand idly by when she's sinking into prostitution. <laughs> I mean, just seeing what it could do to the property values. I don't remember tearing your dress off. Are you sure it was with me? Do you mind? It was at one of Rose's engagement parties. Oh, that now's down. <laughs> That's it! Finished! No more men! In the end, they all deceive you. Running off with another woman. I don't care if she's his wife. Rose? Who are you getting married to when I wore that pink dress? I can't remember. Wouldn't it be lovely if there were trees and hills out there instead of grotty little houses? It was that one of your engagement days. I've had some lovely times in the countryside. But you can't remember any of them at daylight. <laughs> we'll have to move. I shall miss this house. Over the years, I've made it a centre of culture and taste. Why should we have to move? If this area is heading for a moral decline, what choice have we? I will not raise Sheridan in a continental atmosphere. 
<laughs> They're on the front now. I'll go out on some innocent errand. I'll invite Elizabeth to one of my candlelight suppers. Then you must come out. Me? Yes, you, dear. You must talk about the dangers of getting involved with strange men. What's a pop to the office, why is it? Not until you've seen it for yourself. Do it. Elizabeth! Oh, this is my neighbour hiding. <laughs> Daisy. Oh, she's out at the moment. I'll get her to ring you back in a bit because I've got to go out myself. All right, bye. Oh, hello, Liz. Hello, Richard. I've got to talk to you about something very important. Okay. Richard, this is Elizabeth's brother. Brother? Elizabeth's brother. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. <laughs> oh, I'm glad to hear about that because hi, is it? Stop thought. babbling, Richard. We'll let you get off. Oh, and do come for coffee at 11, Elizabeth, and bring your brother. Is she always like that? Boxes of photos so we can find out which dress it was. Well, you better give her a hand before she gives herself a hernia. <laughs> I'll put these to one side, these are my aliens. Yes, we can forget about those black and white ones. <laughs> and the sepia. <laughs> there you are, dear. <laughs> Thank you. Now, do try my Coxwell creams. They're plum in the flavour with a hint of honeysuckle and a touch of lime. Oh, they, they sound delightful, don't they, Emmett? Yes, delightful. <laughs> but life wouldn't be worth living if you couldn't enjoy an occasional treat with one's best friends. <laughs> Budge Richard, I'm making great strides here socially. And with Mrs. Council Nugent on the warpath any day, I don't need that racket going off. I'll have to win that floor. No, there isn't time for that. You'll have to do it. Well, I don't know the first thing about fixing a toilet. Oh, don't make difficulties, Richard. If you don't try, we won't know, will we? Well, I don't have the tools. Or oh, the overall. Richard! <laughs> I will not have the name of the sooner that you wear overalls, dear. Just try and fix the problem and improvise. You were clever enough to identify it. <laughs> Who's this? What were you engaged to this? I don't know. Are you sure it's mine? Well, that's your one, though. <laughs> oh, yes. I don't remember him at all. <laughs> I'm going to go make Father a cup of tea. Oh, my old diaries. I should start writing my memoirs. Everybody does it these days. It's like I'm officially retiring from an active love life. Overactive. Fuck off, Oh, nice. Oh, Richard's always been a dab hand at these things. Sugar? Uh, no, thanks. Oh, I'll just get that. It might be somebody important. <laughs> the bouquet, residence, the lady of the house speaking. Oh, it's you, Violet. It's my sister, Violet. She married a turf accountant, large house, swimming pool, room for a pony. You sound excited, but then what is this? Bruce, taking up synchronised swimming. Oh, that's very healthy. He wants to do what? Borrow a floral bikini. 
Whenever Miss Council Engine gets here, I'd like you to be there, dear. Why me, Hyacinth? I believe you'll bring a bit of spark to the occasion. Another tap up, dear? No, I'm fine, thank you. No, I insist. I invited you for coffee, and coffee you shall have. Don't worry, Hyacinth, I'm perfectly happy. <laughs> now, don't worry, Elizabeth. It hasn't got any of my furniture. Or anything that matters. The bouquet of your residence, the lady of the house. Oh, yes, I'll accept the charge. Sheridan! How thoughtful of you to ring Mummy Dear at this time. You've just saved me from mopping up, Emmett. <laughs> what a deep psychic bond we have. What does he want? I don't know that he wants anything, dear. He's just ringing his mummy. Need how much, Sheridan? <laughs> Thanks. You and Tarkin are making your own curtains together. How inventive, dear. I've got no beer. <laughs> How do you spell memoirs? M E M O I R S. <laughs> and I thought you were just a big fat idle sub. A big fat idle sub I can spell. I get a warm, fuzzy feeling knowing I'm my to an intellectual. <laughs> Is she really writing her memoirs? Looks like it. How do you spell virgin? Is it ER or IR? Is she going back that far? <laughs> I won't be a moment, Richard. I'm just looking for the postman. How do you live with her? It's a good question, really. She's actually quite kind. If you obey orders. The very thing that I've ever heard. I give in. It's not gonna flush. The gates the gates might be blocked. Right. The best place I think that you should sit is there, Elizabeth. Yes, there. Sorry. Just don't lean too close to my expensive piece of porcelain. There. You do know that people don't realise how expensive that was. Maybe you could drop a hint to Mrs. Council and you didn't why I'm out of the room. You're going out of the room? <laughs> of course! You're going to leave me alone, Mrs. Council and Eugene. Well, only for a moment, do I make the tea. I'll make the tea! No, no, no! <laughs> No, what I want you to do is to take the opportunity of inserting an idea into Mrs. Councilman Nugent's mind. I'll get it wrong. You won't get it wrong, dear. You can't. All you have to do is offer my services to her committee. There she is. And right on time. Doesn't breeding tell? I'll let her in. I'll her speech. And don't forget to mention my ornament. My very special ornament.
Hiya. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I'm pretty Oh, God. <laughs> we don't accept charity today. This is not the town or the place. Now, come on. Could you come back when I'm less busy and I'll take some charity? Bye. simple. Take a hold of it firmly and gently, raise it carefully. <laughs> See? It doesn't even wobble. The one can't do in high since here. so cute. Blimey, what are you doing, you crazy woman? You can chop you up. I told you, I got Eddie. Oh, yes. I'll just get her now. Telephone Hyacinth, it's Mrs. Councillor Nuggins. You, James? Oh. How have you been? Oh, we're fine. Yes. All right. Oh, I see, yeah. Really? Why? <laughs> Apart from the diet of ABS's homemade gooseberry wine? Right. Oh, yes, we'll pop along now. Right. Okay, then. Bye. Oh, do we have to? We're having a drink with her, Richard. Stand by to crack open a bottle. Stand by to crack? Join me, won't you, in a bottle of the Dodger Lady Estella's Homo Gisbury Wooden? <laughs> 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 